Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Dr. Morgan Hayes. She's with the University of Kentucky Biosystems and Ag Engineering Extension Specialist. Good morning, Morgan. Good morning. Now, Morgan, the other day we talked a little bit about heat stress and livestock and one of the things we could utilize maybe in a confined area or in barns are fans, but we, it's not as simple as just sticking a fan in a barn. Sure. Yeah, fans are a little bit tricky uh, and really there's a little bit that goes into where we place them, how we or orient them. And one of the first things that we really need to understand is how air moves through a fan. The way that fans typically work is there's propeller blades inside the fan and they push air out. Um, and what ends up happening is typically fans have a shroud around those blades that puts air out in sort of a circular pattern. Um, and what happens is coming from the fan that air actually um, becomes wider. Um, we get either a cone or um, some people will call it a jet of air. Um, and what ends up happening is the airspeed is fast as right where it leaves, just after it leaves the fan. And then as that cone becomes wider, the airspeed actually slows down. Okay, so if you have a large size barn, maybe one fan is not gonna provide you the airflow that you need. Absolutely. So. One of the things that you can see uh, in, in the image here is that the fan actually, by color, the blues and the, and the greens are a little bit slower air speeds versus the oranges and the yellows are much higher air speeds. So you can see that there's higher air speed closer to the fan. And then as we move away, um, that air speed slows down and, and different animals have different required air speeds that they need in order to get cooling effects. So animals that have more hair or fiber on them tend to need more air speed. Um, to get cooling effects. So our goal when we're orienting our barn and, and laying out fans is we need enough airspeed to cool the animals across the whole barn, but we don't want to put in more fans than are required because if we put in too many fans, it costs too much money. Okay, so knowing that, and do fans come with how much airspeed that they're going to push out? So it's interesting, fans actually report an airspeed, but it's very inaccurate because what they're really measuring is an airspeed at the center of the fan's cone, uh, very close to the fan. So it's not necessarily what the animal is gonna feel. So one of the things that, that we recommend is that when you start laying out fans in a barn, typically you're going to attach them to trusses uh, or some sort of post or vertical member in the barn. Um, and when you do that, it's really a good idea to sort of stand back from the fan and make sure that you can feel that airspeed and it's giving you a cooling effect at a, low, a lower level than where the animal is actually at. So if you have a cow that stands at four foot, make sure that you can feel that air at about two feet. You talked about the, the airspeed. Does the size of the fan, does that, how does that affect? Absolutely. So there are some general rules of thumb that we use. So we generally say that a fan that's say 48 inches in diameter or a four foot fan will cover 10 times that length along the length of a barn. Um, and width wise, it will be four to five times the width. So a 48 inch fan, a four foot fan would cover 40 feet of length in a barn and something between 16 and 20 foot of width in a barn. Um, and it's a little bit um, tricky because it really depends on where we uh, hang the fans in the barn. And I was gonna ask that, that was gonna be my next question because when we think about big fans like that and just getting air movement in the barn, but you said that's not the goal. We really wanna get a cooling effect wherever the animals are. So to me, that would almost mean that we would need to maybe put them at an angle? Absolutely, we do need to angle our fans. It's, it's very accurate. So what we tend to do as our goal um, is we basically take our fans and hang them from either a truss or a post and we angle the fan so it hits the ground direct, the middle of the jet hits the ground directly below the next fan. Um, and the reason we do that is because that means we're getting sort of air moving across the whole barn um, and that at all areas where the animals would be standing or laying down, um, we're gonna feel some air speed across the whole length of the barn. And you're, like you mentioned before, you're getting the biggest bang for your buck. You're actually getting that cooling effect. So Morgan, the take home message here is if you're gonna put fans in the barn, really be, be cognizant of where they're gonna be placed, where your animals are and how much air that it's actually gonna move. Yeah, absolutely. It is a challenge, but you need to have enough fans to make sure that they do the cooling because if they don't do that, then there's no reason to put a fan in in the first place, but you certainly don't wanna pay for more fans than you need. 
Absolutely. Well, certainly appreciate the information. And if you have questions, make sure to contact your local extension office. Thanks for watching and have a great day.